you know, it matters what we take in because what we consume and how we consume it can consume us, right? It can become us. It, there's an impression that is made on what we take in that is impressed inside of us. It's like if you consider how we are made of water and the water crystals that make up that water are, are like what's going on inside of us when an impression is made inside of us. It's So, so the water crystal story, Dr. Um, Masaru Emoto is the, the one who did the water experiments. You might remember this a while back, where he did these water experiments where um, they would take like a, a bottle of water and they put a label on it like love or thank you or I hate you, like you're seeing on the slides in front of you. And then they would, um, or they would gather around it as a group and they would speak those words to the water. And then they would take a small sample of that and get it down just to a single water crystal and take a photograph. And these are the photographs. This is what happened with love, the words love projected on the water. Thank you and I hate you. Pretty incredible, isn't it? So that's what we're taking in. When we take in that kind of thing, we're making that kind of impression inside of us. We're made of water too, right? So there's this fluidity to our consciousness that is constantly getting an impression. I imagine that the living water that Jesus spoke of had these kinds of crystals in it, right? That love and thank you show the beauty of that kind of made up of life and love and, and peace and these kinds of things that have gorgeous water crystals. Do you remember that story? I, the living water is spoken of in the scriptures a few times, but m probably most markedly for most of us, we remember that story of the Samaritan woman at the well with Jesus. And and, you know, they're just having a conversation, basically. It's, that part of it is sort of unheard of, too, because she's a Samaritan and he's a Jew and they don't mix at that time. And she's a woman and he's a man and they don't mix midday like that at that time, just the two of them. And so, so there's all these sort of taboos that Jesus is just like, you know, he doesn't abide by them because he abides by the truth. He abides by the living water that says, we're all one, we're all equals, we're all uh, worthy. And so they're having this conversation at the well, and, and he asks for a drink. And she, of course, is happy to give him a drink. And, and he says, you know, if you knew the kind of water that I could give you, you would have asked me to give you water. And I would have given you living water, the kind of water that would never allow you to thirst again. Now, when Jesus is speaking like that, he's speaking as the Christ within all of us. He, like the Christ within us can say the same thing to us. If you would just ask me for a drink of water, I'd give you the kind of water that is living, that's alive, that will feed you, that will make an impression upon you like those water crystals, and you won't ever thirst again. 